Thank you for picking up the Sticks episode 43. Sticks Gaming Podcast. I am Mike Kernat. Taking a swig to my right is Mike Steak Carnia. What's going on? And to my left, his name is Art. This poem makes no sense. Mario Kart. Rosian. <laughs> I stole that from a... <laughs> it was a... Uh, like worst tattoos ever type of thing <laughs> and a guy tattooed on his arm roses are red my name is dave this poem makes no sense microwave and i just <laughs> i just laughed and laughed i think it works better on a tattoo than that's pretty fantastic <laughs> all right so um interesting things to do today we gotta talk about our black friday winnings oh. earnings mm. successes <laughs> Survival? I, <laughs> I overbought. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Uh, I feel like I moderately bought. I underbought a lot. To quote, I the, immor- had to such quote the immortal casual Kramer, I overbought. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking by the eight games you had listed on your nope. phone from whatever it was. Nope. Right. Well, let's start. All right, let's do this a little different then. So we're going to do what you're playing and what you buy. All so right. however order you want to do it in, All you right. take it. Well, then I'll do what you buy because I bought one game Oh, the whole weekend. And it wasn't even one of the games on my list. So I might have, t- I might have like doubled both. Of <laughs> um, Do I so, include the games I bought for other people? Or is it just mine? Yeah, <laughs> just yours. Just yours, yeah. Uh, so the only game I ended up buying was the uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale on Xbox. It was ten bucks. I had a ten dollar uh, gift card on my account thanks oh. to Microsoft. I had two separate emails for five dollar gift cards. Awesome. Uh, Bank error in your favor. Cluck five dollars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so it cost me a whole whopping sixty four cents. Hell yeah. So I was like, okay, and I know all episodes are done. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna pick this up. Um, then actually, the only, the only other thing I did buy um, or is was three movies. Okay. I bought uh, Wonder Woman and Fast Eight, both on four K Blu Ray for ten bucks each. And then I also bought The Watchmen, the complete story Ooh. for fifteen bucks. Does it come with like the motion comic too? The yeah, it's, and that's and it's all like. Put into the big movie. Oh, so nice. now the movie's 300, uh, uh, not 300, three hours and 35 minutes long. God damn. With all that stuff added into right. like where it should go in, right. the, in the movie and stuff. Jesus so I, I never had the completed story. So I was like, all right, 15 bucks. I might as well grab it. Like, you know, because I, I actually really enjoy that movie. I, I like, I I like Watchmen a lot. Um, so yeah, so in terms of what I bought, that that's it. Wow. So I was quite, quite proud of myself. You have no idea the resistance I had. I, I purposely did not go to a store because of that. Because I, I knew... I didn't I go to a store was, either and I had no resistance. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did my best to stay <laughs> off of like Best Buy and stuff. Because like, basically, like I had access to a lot of the deals before they went on yeah. sale. That's how I got my, my uh, 4K movies. So I was like, okay, if I don't get it now, I'm not getting it. So mm. that's kind of what happened. I was like, well, I'm not buying it right now. So I'm not going to the store to get it. So, oh well. Um, but, so what I've been playing... Um, more Assassin's Creed Origins, about 15 to 16 hours in now. Uh, I think I saw my story progressions like 20-something percent. Dang. Um, I just, there's so many side quests. There's so much <laughs> to do in that game. It's so gorgeous. It's so much fun. I'm really enjoying it. Um, and then also, because of that, I also d- dug into... Um, so, have you guys checked out the Dolby Access on the Xbox yet? The what? The who? Dolby Access. No. Take this as a okay. no. <laughs> so Dolby Access basically is kind of like the Dolby Atmos app. Oh, okay. Um, so what you um, so there's the Dolby Atmos for home theater, and then there's the Dolby Atmos for headphones. It's 15 bucks permanently. It's it's a it's a like you get a 30 day free trial. So I recommend if anyone hasn't done this yet, check it out. Um, but it turns your stereo headset into Dolby Atmos. Ooh. Like it simulates it. Hmm. So basically, in my so I have the official uh, Xbox uh, headphones. So I'll just plug them in my controller. Um, just say that's what I'm using. Like you know, activate it. Like so, I activated it and made it made it uh, enabled. And so now, like with Assassin's Creed Origins, I'll hear a kid like behind me to my right. Now look, and there he is talking. To me. Oh, cool! So, like it's the Atmos. Like it's and I just ch- tested it with a couple movies, and it totally gives you the Atmos like sound. It has like the bass. It's got every. It so sounds awesome. Does that only like convert it so it works in headsets, or like if you have an Atmos setup, does it Atmos setup? Do you need to do that to get that sound? No, no. Okay. If you have an Atmos setup, you it just you it just, just activate. Okay. You just okay. it was activated. But so no, it's like this old is, Dolby. Like it's the same idea. Yeah. So this is to but this is to give you that right. simulated experience on your headphones gotcha. for fifteen bucks, okay. and it turns your which is great. Yeah, um, <laughs> that, that I don't mind. If, if you had to do that, yeah, if you had to set up, I was gonna say that's bullshit. Yeah, no, no, absolutely not. And actually, oh shoot, I think that 
I know it's on sale for eleven ninety nine. It might be it might be expiring before this goes live though. Mm. Um, but I, I gotta make sure I buy it before it, it uh goes away. Because uh, I'm gonna keep it. Like Assassin's Creed made me a believer of that. And then like I said, I checked it out with a couple movies today. Uh, Watchmen. I popped in for a minute, and then also Wonder Woman. And I was like, oh wow, like you know, it was a sphere flies by through through my earphones. Yeah. Zoom. Oh, that's, that's cool. <laughs> so I was like, okay, this is this is awesome. Yeah, that's cool. So um, so yeah, so definitely go check that out. Uh, other things I've been playing. Uh, I picked up Skyrim for the Nintendo Switch. Um, about a little over 10 hours into that, which is more than I ever played of Skyrim ever. I was going to say, I was going to say, I think it's more than you played before. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and I am really enjoying it. Good. I'm really enjoying it. Um, How does it play? It plays great. Yeah. It plays fantastic. Uh, it's very smooth. There's no hiccups whatsoever. The audio sometimes hiccups, but it's the audio. No big deal. Where did you play it on originally? 360. Okay, so that's like uh, it should be a little bit better than that. Like yes, yes. graphic so, wise, graphic wise, yes. So it does have like some like the water effects and things like that. So it doesn't look so super fake. Obviously, it doesn't look as good as Xbox One, PS4. <laughs> it's just somewhere in between the two versions of it. Um, but it runs super smooth on that on that screen. It looks fantastic. I, just, I don't want to seven twenty. I, I, I don't want to hear it. Because <laughs> <laughs> every time I turn on my switch, I'm like, Ugh. and it's just perfect. Because like you know, I was watching football. Just I'm just sitting there. I, I know. Going through Skyrim while I'm watching football, I like, know. and I think that's a big part of why I'm getting through it more than I did before, is because I just, um, I mean, it's just the whole Switch idea, the on the the console, the handheld and part of it, and it, it, it lends itself really well to that too. But I can talk about like watching something on the big screen, and I imagine playing on the handheld because there's a lot of just walking. Oh, and you yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, you got, like, that interlude times mm -hmm. in between, like, the big action sets where you really got to pay attention or, you know, while you're walking, a dragon might fly over you as well. Right, but right. Causes problems, but. Oh, I'm telling me. <laughs> that, that and those damn giants. Yeah, oh, just slamming you and throwing you in the air with one club hit. Yeah. Um, I, remember, I remember the very first time I played Skyrim, I went, like, <laughs> full on, like, I had, you know, my skin armor on me. I had yeah. nothing. I was like, ah, I ran right in. <laughs> yeah. And it was, <laughs> it ragged out the oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Didn't go well for me. No. Um, and then I also started um, playing a little bit of the um, just to get trying to get in, in the mood before it comes out the, uh, later this this week. Um, Xenoblade Chronicles, the first one, mm. that was on Wii. Uh, started playing a little bit. I uh, got I'm about five six hours into that now. Um, cool, it's neat. Uh, I never really got too far into it, so but I'm really excited for Xenoblade Chronicles too. So I was like, well, let me get myself hyped up a little it's like bit. Like a here. week, right? Friday. Ooh, -wee. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited. And last but not least, you're going to be very proud. Oh. I finished Batman the Telltale Yay! game by Xbox. <laughs> the, the X fixed it. I said the Xbox One the X fixes X everything. Fixed it. <laughs> X all the way. So I downloaded, so I re downloaded episode three. This is like a year long. Oh, episode. this has been terrible. I, uh, I I redownloaded it. I got to the scene that it always freezes up during the uh, intro of like, season three. I was like, and you're, you're sitting there, you're like, motherfucker, yeah, uh -huh, you uh, fucking work, you son of a bitch. Boom. It blasted right through it. I was Beautiful. Like, All right. It looks like this is what I'm doing. <laughs> um, crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, and then there was a few times, too, where I thought it was going to, I thought it was going to freeze. Like, I thought something was going to happen. Like, I thought it was going to freeze and crash or whatever. I mean, but then, um... Uh, but then, like, because it, it would do like it would the f screen would freeze and the audio. Would, mm, mm, oh mm, yeah, mm. yeah. I was yeah. like, oh no! And then it fought it way through it. I, I get it. I give it to the X. <laughs> get my get it through. Um, but no, but it, I, it takes a five hundred dollar four K. Yeah, to run a Telltale to game. To run Telltale's shitty engine. I was gonna say because episode five, you guys said that they crashed a couple times. It crashed mine, like six or, times yeah, on me. Didn't mine, crash mine, a, sing mine did not a times. single time for me. Six <laughs> times, like four of those times in the last battle. Good old X. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, no. Did so you like it? It was great. It was great. It was yeah. It was it was it was awesome. I had, I enjoyed it a lot. Was it um, worth the wait? Yeah. No, absolutely. It was really good. I'm glad I finished. I'll it. say it's one of those things. Like no matter how good it was, it's still tainted for you because that experience. Oh, you had, it like, totally was a bit. Yeah, because like that was the thing that sucked though too. Because even with that previously, it's like okay, I don't fully remember episodes one and two though. Like as right. well as I. What's well, to say? You say you finished it. I'm like I don't remember my fucking. I don't even remember the, the decisions were in that game. Yeah. I know I wasn't brutal Batman. <laughs> and I was Bruce Wayne as much as I could be. That's, that, that's kind of the route I took yeah. with both well, yeah, of my, I mean, most of my decisions. You're Batman in every Batman game. Right. Yeah. Agreed. Um, episode four was awesome when you... Well, I, I don't know. It's been out for a while. I guess this would be a spoiler. But but when you meet some other villains in a yeah. special way, that was pretty cool. I thought so too. Uh, so that's as vaguely as I can get it without spoiling it. 
Um, but yeah, no, it was cool. It was a lot of, it was really neat. So I'll look forward to uh, next Black Friday when uh, season two is 10 bucks <laughs> <laughs> and completely done. Yeah, right. <laughs> like I said, that's, that's the only reason why I picked up Guardians since it's done now. For sure. So well, it's, it's season two was on sale for like 13 it was 15 bucks. or something. It was 13 yeah. bucks somewhere. It was 13 yeah. bucks because I, I bought it. So I know that. <laughs> Spoilers for five minutes from now. So. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so okay. that's that's everything. All right, what you playing and oh, buying? You, you go ahead. Okay. No. <laughs> I, oh man, I, we're I'm jumping not, around this time I, a little bit. I'm ill prepared. All right, no. Um. All right, so what I bought? So for myself, I only got from. Yeah, I was like gopher for a couple of years. <laughs> that's fine though. Um, found everything I was looking for, so that was good too. Um. I did end up having to do an online order at Best Buy because they had two of the things that they I didn't see there. Okay. And I didn't. I was I was just like running in there and running out. I didn't yeah. have it. I was gonna get online because I saw it. So I did that. So I got uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really paid for it, but you overpaid. It was an impulse buy for sure. Okay. Um, I can't fault you for that because I impulse bought it for forty bucks and I've regretted it. Yeah. Since. <laughs> I think I think I got it for twenty games. Yeah. That game is my biggest like disappointment waste of money of the year. Mm. And I just built a massive pile of shame that I deal with. <laughs> and that's still my biggest waste of money of the year. I want to play it. It was a total impulse buy. I was like, because, you know, when you go online, you can just you go through all 205 games. You're and I was, right. I was oh, yeah. Clicking. So, of course, I fill the cart up and then I, I parse through the carts. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Your cart has 15 items. Like, oh, oh, my God. No, 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 total of $600. Yeah, like, I, ah, shit. <laughs> I, can't, I can't possibly justify that box coming to the front door. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can, just don't open it in front of anyone. <laughs> so, True. So, I got that. Um, what else did I get from there? Put it in your trunk until everyone's asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I got Ozzy Horizon and Near Automata. That's on the way. The Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune game. Oh yes. Um, I got the girls something I don't want to mention here. Oh, we haven't swore yet, right? Well, I don't think so. I would like to. I, I meant to say this right right away. Cats out of the bag. Amelia knows we did. We do this. So I want to have like a PG thirteen version of the episode, so she can actually watch it. That means you get one F word. You get one. It's PG thirteen. Just make a count. Like, get off my every planet. Are we doing this now? From now on. Ooh, I'll do my best. <laughs> if not, she doesn't remember. I made this promise to her two weeks ago, so it's fine. Um, and oh, uh, man. <laughs> 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 All right. Going off some of the topics in the news, that might be tough. Um, <laughs> if we don't do it, it's not I a good I only got two topics in the news. I'll say, today, I'll say today I don't feel as angry, so we might be okay today. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm tired, so maybe my rage will be yeah, right. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> if it happens, it happens. If it does, Still recovering it from Thanksgiving. Yeah, right. Um, so I got a game from them. So, but I got on the PSN sale. Yeah, I ended up getting um, Hidden Agenda. I bought what else the hell did I get? Oh, I got the Batman season two. Like I said, I bought Amelia season two of Story Mode for Minecraft Story Mode. I didn't even know there was a season two of that. I wasn't aware until like episode four, and then I wasn't was aware until I saw it on sale. I, yeah, <laughs> it's I'm like, al- season two. Yeah, it's almost done. Like it's, it's already got through the first wow. four episodes. And she loved that, so I got that for her. And then I bought the deluxe edition of Wolfenstein 2. Because... That included DLC, then? Included all the DLC. It's 40 bucks. The season pass oh, wow. by itself was 25 Oh, wow. Yeah. So I figured I wanted to support for this game anyway. Single player Bethesda Wolfenstein thing. $15 more than I would have spent if I would have bought it in the store. Right. Sure. Why not? I think that's it. I think that's all I bought. What do you play? What am I playing? Um, <laughs> so, you know when I told you I was done with Mario? How many games was that that they just listed? Uh, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I may not be that bad, though. <laughs> <laughs> Two for the children, though. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> future. Future uh, future investments. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, I, I totally lied about Mario. Like, I got home. I was like, I played Mario that night. Yeah. Um, we were done with this episode last. So you're, I, you're a big fat liar. I, 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 so I'm like another like 50-some moons in, so I'm at like almost 700. Jesus. Now I think I'm done. Because it's been like a week since I played now, sure. and I played some other things. So I think, I fi- I think I'm finally, at this point, I'm like scrounging through the different worlds. Like, I've, I've 100 percent of the first three worlds. Okay. But for the last like, couple, I'm like, using guides and stuff like that. I'm like, sure. eh, eh, now I'm not really playing the game anymore. So there's, Plus, you're not getting trophies or anything. So. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. I have had more than my fun fill of that game. So I think I, I'm maybe, possibly, can walk away now. <laughs> um, 
I played about a first two hours of Thimbleweed Park, the adventure game. Mm, like yeah. the, it's like an old the Monkey school Island. Monkey Island Lucas Arts game, and it's really fun. It, but you need to like that adventure game because it oh, is sure. like straight up read. You like there's the verbs in the bottom of hand corner. You need to, you know, cursor over on read, oh. and then you go over to sign, and then read sign. Like it is that. So if you that need to be in, sounds annoying. You need so to be it's Monkey Island that. all over again. It totally is, yeah. but it's 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 very self aware and breaks a fourth wall all the time. Oh, cool! Even in like the settings, they give you an option to like um, turn on or off dumb inside jokes or something like that. It's <laughs> kind of, that's what it says. <laughs> that's why would you, why neat. would you want to turn that off? I don't know. Yeah. I, but like it'll be like you're you're going through and be like you you have two characters. You kind of go you switch back and forth between them at will, and you as you're going through it because it kind of that's how you manage your inventory between the two people and things like that. Anyway. Um, it's very X Files, Twin Peaksy vibe. So they kind of like, they reference all of that kind of stuff too. Like it's like a weird small town, population like 80, 81. And then someone dies, and they like market. They change the market to eighty. <laughs> um, but like in the first a couple of minutes of the game, I, I'm walking through like a street, and I I come across these two people. My character feels like my character says like, I feel like this is important. I feel like I should like save. And I'm like, what are you talking about? So like, I think I feel like it's just safe. And they're like, no, no, no. We like, we figure it out now. Like, we can't put you in like the old, um, like no going back. Like old adventure games. Like you get to like a like you would oh. miss a key, yeah. be oh, like, yeah. an hour into the game and yeah. you screwed. Like now we figured it out. We're not doing that anymore, to you guys. We save periodically anyway. Like you don't have to worry about save. Just enjoy the game. Uh-huh. And I was like, they're just like just talking right to me. You know, <laughs> there, there, there is the, the fourth wall is just obliterated. <laughs> And they're, and they're talking directly to me like the entire time. That's interesting. Um, and there's a lot of stuff like that too. Like they have a lot of, there's a lot of just like visual gags and things like that. I'm sure. really enjoying it. Um, I'm only a couple hours in. Um, do we have a do we have Battlefront Two news on this thing or no? Uh, yes. I might as well just save my impressions for then as well because sure. I'm playing a lot of that. Hopefully, it's the last time I'll Battlefront Two news for quite a while. Yeah, probably. So I'll kind of save my impressions for that based on what the news are and things and whatever you have on there because I I played. A decent amount of the multiplayer, um, and I played the first four or five acts of a single player. Okay. So, so far, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. But um, we'll, we'll, put, we'll put it all in the context of the news which I'm <laughs> in a minute here. So, I think, is that, a, is that everything? I'm just four. Um, I forgot one. Oh, um, neck 2. Oh. I actually picked up Neck 2. I hey, got, someone bought Neck 2. I did. Hey. Uh, <laughs> uh, Redbox. <laughs> had it for 10 bucks. I was that's like, right, I don't need said. a case. Whatever, ten yeah, bucks, okay. that's fine. And I bought two copies so I can trade one into GameStop and make <laughs> nine dollars, <laughs> which was awesome because then I'll pay enough. off my my Skyrim for Switch. So I didn't have to pay a dime for it, so that was perfect. Uh, and then I bought a copy for myself. Um, I'm I'm super early into it though, yeah. super early. It looks very pretty though. On H, it's 4K HDR and it looks really really pretty. So, cool. but it's cool so far. All right. Moment of truth, Art. <laughs> you can't hide anymore. What'd you buy? What'd you do? Okay, so what did I buy? Uh, oh, God. You got a list. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I had to write it down, otherwise I'd forget something. <laughs> so on Black Friday, I got Assassin's Creed Origins. Nice. Uh, I bought the year two edition of Rainbow Six Siege. For, mm. Okay. That's 25 bucks, and the trade-in value on the original one is still like 12 bucks or something. Really? Oh, nice. So I, basically for all the you know year two content, I get it for like, Thirteen bucks. So that's not bad. That's surprising. That's that much, cheaper though. than it would cost me to get it. I don't play it often enough to grind to unlock the characters mm-hmm. that way. Um, and you know, when I do play, I would like to play with all the characters. Yeah. Uh, NHL eighteen mainly for group stream purposes. Yeah. Uh, didn't get it on Black Friday, but I also got a switch. Oh. Uh, Welcome so, to the team. So I had. Uh, Welcome. And here comes the list. To the <laughs> team. Uh, I got Mario X Rabbids, Mario Plus Rabbids. What the hell you want to call it? I don't know. Mario <clears throat> with Rabbids. Um, those <laughs> are the, the only of Black Friday games I got. Uh, oh, right. Before Black Friday, I bought L.A. Noire because it was just available and I wanted to play it. I paid full price for it. Um, I'm almost done. I'm, 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 I'm about ready. To, I, what did you get it on first? Xbox. Okay. Ooh, how's it looking on the Xbox? It looks fine. I yeah. mean, it's a pretty, smooth. prettier version of the original game. Yeah. Um, yeah, it runs fine. No no issues with it running so far. Um, and then, before Black Friday, Toys R Us had a promo code glitch that I used to get three games for half price. So I got Super Mario Odyssey for 30 bucks, Destiny 2 for 20 bucks, and Binding of Isaac for Switch for 20 bucks. Nice. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Oh, I... Sorry, go ahead. Keep going. Oh, I remember another thing. Damn it! I got him right. 
Um, that's it for I the games. It that's all. it for the games that I bought. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's not that bad. That's not bad. You made it sound like that's you like nothing, man. You know, like super That's not bad at all. I mean, well, and all those uh, and everything you got were pretty good. Those are really games. Good. Yeah, those are <laughs> really good deals, though. Yeah, but like some of them, looking at like Rainbow Six, that's just a replacement of a game I already yeah. have. NHL, like I said, we'll do a group stream of that at some point and get shit faced, and I'll, that's a great I'll probably play it when the playoffs start. Oh, for sure. Um. And then, like, Mario Odyssey, I was going to pay full price for because I got a Switch. It's right. Good. And Binding of Isaac, I wouldn't have bought if I could have got it for 20 bucks. Right. Yeah, I've been, I've, I've been eyeballing that thing for I'm waiting for to get to the teens. Well, see, the Switch is just the perfect yeah. for that game. I can just imagine. Um, so that's, a, that's what I bought. So what I've played, I played uh, L.A. Noir. I played a bunch of that. Um, yeah, it runs, it runs great on the modern consoles. It looks, you know, good for a... What is that, like eight year old game? Yeah, I think, yeah. I think it's pretty old. Right? It's like yeah. seven or eight years. So, yeah, well, the, the graphical changes they made, it, you know, it looks perfectly acceptable for a game that old. If nice. it was, if they were marketing this as a brand new game and it came out that way, it's, it looks, kind of looks like shit, but it looks fine. It runs fine. Um, I forgot a lot about the gameplay of that game. Uh, I also shared a video on our Facebook page, which made me bust out laughing and oh, spit, yeah. spit water <laughs> like down my shirt. That was awesome. It, it, it like came out of nowhere. I'm like, interrogation. And, I'm not going to repeat it because we're trying to keep this PG. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they, didn't they change it? It used to be like suspect or question. Like they changed the they, verbiage on they, there. They now. changed the prompts. So yeah, I don't remember what, what it used to be. Whatever it was, it, it was really vague. I never knew which which button did what. Um, yeah. But now it's like good cop, bad cop, right. or accuse. And basically, good cop is you believe them. Bad cop is you don't believe them, but you don't have proof. Accuse is. You you don't believe them and you have proof of their lying. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? Like you would do like suspect on the old version and like, right. Cole is like flip the table and being like, You're <laughs> a liar! yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty aggressive suspicion. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm hitting. I, I just hit the point where this game I remember got annoying to me the last time. Um, so you go through like different like departments of the police department. You start off on traffic and then you go to, I think homicide. And then you go to Vice. Right. And I just got to the point where I'm on Vice. And it's getting to the point where it's like... The clues are really vague. Like, like the evidence you find is really vague. Whereas in the first two parts, it's like, okay, this points to this. And so now I'm doing... I'm hitting bad cop when I should be accusing them of something. I'm hitting mm. accused when I don't have evidence to accuse uh. them of something. And it's getting really hard. And I remember this is where I got frustrated with the game the last <laughs> time. Um, and then when I got to Arson, I just quit. Because I couldn't even like visibly see the clues. Yeah. Um, Arson was tough. So, I, I mean, I don't think I'll keep playing it as much as I've played it, but I'll definitely, you know, pop it in, you know, pop it on every now and then and play it. Um, play a little more Wolfenstein 2. Uh, I need to put more time into that game because the little bit I've gotten into it is really good. I have a plan for the next month so I can <laughs> speak intelligently about Game of the Year, and that is definitely on that list. Yeah. Um, I uh, fired up Hitman again because they started re-releasing the Elusive Targets. Yeah, I saw that too. Um, so the one they just released was the first one they ever released. Um, it was like stupidly simple once I found the guy. So like when I started doing the elusive targets, it was like the last two or three where, you know, they've been doing, I think they did like 40 something of them. Dang, really? Yeah. Wow. I don't think they did that many. It, that number might be off. I feel like it was a, it was a lot though. But uh, like, so those ones were like really hard. Like they would throw the target in like a crowded area and... Um, this one, I, I found the guy walking up a stairwell with his bodyguard and just killed them both and left. <laughs> it, it Done. Was, well, it was, I think it was like, I, I'd gone into an area where they had to frisk me, so I had to like, lose my gun and lose any like very obvious weapons. So I was walking around with like two pairs of scissors, a knife, uh, three letter openers. <laughs> and, and it was like, I, I see these guys going up the stairs, and I, I walk behind them, and I think I like chuck a letter opener into the security guard's back, and the other guy turns around and he's like, oh, no, and I like threw a screwdriver into his eye. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nice. all right, well, if I try cleaning this up, I'm probably going to get caught, so I'm, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that, that was that. Uh, I played, killing some time, I played some more Binding of Isaac on PS4. Um, like I've said before, that game's a great game if you have you know 20 minutes to kill and you just want to, you know, do something real quick that's not going to tie you down for a long time. Um, that's part of the reason why I got that for the Switch. That seems like a perfect, like, on-the-go type game. For sure. Or even, you know, if, God forbid, I can get my kid to not, like, try to kill himself while I'm watching TV. <laughs> play Switch. I don't know how often that's going to happen. It will eventually get better. <laughs> uh, at this point, I'm, like, 
I, for a while, I thought about. It. I'm like, maybe I'll get like WWE Network so I can watch wrestling stuff in my free time. Cannot do that. It, it, he's in full <laughs> on like. If I see someone do something, I'm gonna mimic it. Mode. Oh no! Oh yeah. man! No 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 no! Yeah. So it's like, I, I I told Karen, I'm like, I can't watch any pro wrestling with this kid around. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna love it. Well, I think like one day I started trying to like rewatch the uh, Ric Flair 30 for 30. Mm. Oh, okay. And then like I realized he was in the room and like they don't say anything bad in that show and they don't they don't show much blood if any in that, but. Like just, I'm, I'm like, mm, this is pro wrestling. That's a bad idea. Bad, bad, bad <laughs> idea. So I just turned that off, and uh, yeah, he, he's in full on mimicry mode. Like one day, I picked him up from school, and he's like walking out of the school building, like front kicking doors open. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> It was like he'd never done this before. Like we're, we're, walking out of, we're walking out of the daycare and he's like kicking the doors open. I'm like, what's your problem? Are you deranged? What, what's going on here? And then I come to find out from Karen like the next day, like, oh yeah, there's this kid in this, uh, this one kid in this class who he's had problems with and they, they like push each other and at one point he knocked this kid off a chair and the kid whacked his head and I had to fill out an accident report and everything. Oh and, man. Um, but he's like, oh, Karen's like, yeah, this kid's a little, he's a little jerk. He's like, I walk in there and he's like kicking chairs and stuff. I'm like, that's where he's getting it from. Yeah. That kid. And there was a lot more expletives in that outburst. Yeah. I had some choice words about my description of the child. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's going on in my life. Uh, outside, And the other game I played, outside of the gift I've talked about later, uh, I played a little bit of Super Mario Odyssey. Like, very, very, very early in the game. So you like, don't have 700 moons? No, I, I, I think maybe I have... 10. Okay, nice. you, you are, yeah. Yep. Like, I just got off, like, the tutorial map, and I'm into the first world, and okay. uh, it's... Early impressions of that game are, it's definitely not like any other Mario game I've played. Which ones have you played? The the, uh, the most recent ones I played were the, basically the last two for the Wii U, so 3D World and oh, yeah, okay. New Super like Mario Brothers. Oh, yeah. No, I, never, like I never played those. Odyssey, or not Odyssey, Sunshine Gal- or Galaxy. Okay. Um, so this is like a whole new experience for yeah. me where it's like I'm not going into levels. I'm going into this open world area, and it's so far it seems like it's more like puzzle solving than it is a Mario game. So I'm interested to see how that progresses. Obviously, I'm not going to pass final judgment on it 10 moons into a thousand moon game. (laughs) But platforming is like, that's your progression, is platforming. Like, it just keeps getting more and more platformy as you go and more and more difficult as you go. That's really the progression I see in that game. Yeah. Like I said, I I, I just got into like, what I I assume is the first real world in this game. That first one is... The, The hat one? Sure. Yeah, that's that's a, that's just a tutorial. Yeah, the tutorial one. Yeah, it's yeah. Um, and yeah, I played the game for maybe forty five minutes or an hour, and I think it was one of those things where I was like late at night and I didn't want to fire up a you know L.A. Noir or whatever else is going to take me two hours to play. So yep. I popped that on and I was like, I hope I don't get sucked into this because I really want to go to bed. <laughs> but I don't want to go to bed right now. Um. So yeah, and I, I wanted to play that to get impressions for you know when we have our game of the year talk in a month. Yeah, we got two more episodes, right? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I need a month. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's it for me. Nice. You said you forgot one? Yeah, I got in on that Walmart price uh, mess up. Which one? Um, the Middle Earth oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shadow of War. The it. gold edition for like 10 bucks or 11 bucks. 11 bucks. I did see that one. I missed that one. I missed I got, that one. I, I got see, that. I did see that one. I put in an order for like five copies and it got canceled. <laughs> <laughs> I got in on Amazon, had Life is Strange Before the Storm. The deluxe, oh, the deluxe edition yeah. for like five bucks. Yeah. So I, I actually got that one. And it was like, I was just like kept hitting refresh on the digital code. Nice. Like, come on, come through, come through. It did. The only reason why I did the Middle Earth ones because it was on, it was for Xbox. Right. And I was like, well, that's supposed to be like one of these specially enhanced games. Right. And I did play a little, a little bit of it. And it looks really nice. Interesting. And actually, I might actually really get into that. Surprisingly. Hmm. I think that was the best, best selling game of October. Really? Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Well, what's coming out next couple of weeks, Dave? All right. Now, now that we're past the uh, the holiday. That's right. Quite a bit, actually. Really? Um, well, <laughs> we're well, past the holidays. Well, Everything's coming out. Yeah, now. there goes more. But here's the thing. So, Well, I almost just swore again. So once again, I went to a new website to get my information. Yeah. Um, but I went this to, has worked out poorly for us in the past. It has, but this one looks really, really Gamebiz. good. Gamebiz.uk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. which, which site is this? This one is Kotaku. Oh, okay. Uh, and for the mo- for for the most part, um, and they, this has like a lot of like the indie stuff and things like okay. that too. So we're gonna so hopefully we'll start getting more of that stuff if I remember to keep using them. Uh, so Wednesday, November 29th, uh, Tech of the Bugs for the PC, 
Thursday, November 30th, Arcade Archive Traverse USA for the Nintendo Switch. I would just like to have heard of one of those games at some point. Super Dodgeball is the only one I'm aware of. Yeah. Right. And I don't think it's even Super Dodgeball. I think it's just Dodgeball. Whatever. I'm not even sure, yeah. Um, also on uh, November 30th, uh, Mujo for the Switch. Hey, what? Mujo. Nintendo Switch. Uh, that's Opus. Com- that's what calling you Mujo. <laughs> <laughs> Opus, The Day right, We Found Earth. the Monkey. <laughs> Also for the Nintendo Switch on the thirtieth. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> Serial cleaner for the Nintendo Switch on the thirtieth. That's for you know what that one is. No, that is think of like Hotline Miami. Give my attention. After all the killing happened, and you're going in cleaning up. I mean, there could be some humorous parts in that. Yeah, that could be interesting. <laughs> There's a couple <laughs> different games that are like that. There's that one. There's what was that one called again? Uh, serial kill cleaner. There's that one. There's like visceral cleanup. I think it might, be, it might, be like a, it might even be like a VR game on the PC. The, the other night when I played Bonnie Wise, like, like I was scrolling through like my downloaded games on my PlayStation. I like I passed over Hotline Miami one and two. And I'm like, <laughs> no, let's keep don't going. do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Have that music like pulsating through my brain so as I sleep. <laughs> and so also on November 30th, Siberia two for the Nintendo Switch. On December 1st, Soma. For the Xbox One, uh, seven. The days long gone for the for the PC. Seven. Z- <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles Two for the Nintendo Switch. Doom FVFR for the PlayStation VR, and I believe it's supposed to be on the Vive too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Blue Blue Angles Acrobatic Flight Simulator for the Xbox One. Uh, and Skyforce Reloaded for the Xbox One. On Tuesday, November 5th, Dead Rising 4, Frank's Big Package, is finally coming to PS4. Nice. So that year uh, exclusive is up. Nine Parchments for the PS4, Nintendo Switch, and PC. That actually looks like a really interesting indie game. I'm, I'm completely unaware of it. Uh, yeah, go check out a couple trailers for it. It looks, okay. cool. looks kind of cool. Uh, Steep Road to the Olympics for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Destiny 2, Curse of Osiris, the DLC for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. The Walking Dead, the Telltale Series Collection for the Xbox One and PS4. That's the one that has everything in it. All the Walking all the Walking Dead. All three seasons yep. be shown and 400 days. Yep. Uh, Caveman Warriors for the Nintendo Switch. And this is the police for the Nintendo Switch. Man, it's on everything. I know. Uh, Thursday, December 7th, Human Fall Flat for the Nintendo Switch. And Phantom Breaker, Battlegrounds Overdrive for the Nintendo Switch. Friday, December 8th, Hello Neighbor for the Xbox One, PC, and Mac. Ooh. That looks awesome. <laughs> that I, looks I didn't know that was awesome. coming out. Yeah, I didn't realize it was this year. I thought it was a next year game, so that looks really yeah, awesome. Yes, that, that, that one does look good. Um, What's it coming out for again? Xbox One, PC, and Mac. Okay. I have an Xbox One. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tokyo Zandu X Plus for PS4 and PC. I'm assuming that's some crazy uh, fighting game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Local Roco 2 Remastered <gasps> for the PS4, December 9th. Whoa. Fallout 4 VR for the Vive on, on December 12th. Resident Evil 7, the Gold Edition for PS4, Xbox One, and PC, December 12th. And last but not least, Okami HD for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC, December 12th. I can't miss that one again. Okami? Yeah. So I haven't played it? I've never played oh, it. I've so never good. played a minute of it. It's fantastic. It's like right I'm trying my it. not to buy it for like the third time. Because <laughs> I bought it when it first came out on PS2. I bought it when they then they released it on the Wii. Because like, I was like, oh, the motion controls. That was actually really sucked. <laughs> um, and then I resisted. I think they released it on PS3. I think I they resisted. So it'll right. be my third time buying it if me, I do it. Give me a call when you hit five. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a great game. Times. I've acquired Borderlands 2 five times. Oh, nice. <laughs> Did you buy it all five times? I bought it at least three at the time. So. Okay. That's so fucked up. Oh, damn. <laughs> Sorry. You were, uh, at least I messed it up. I was like, you were doing the worst here. I know. <laughs> this is my haven to swear, is in this room. I can't swear. <laughs> That's what I use work for. Oh. <laughs> I can't do that. I can do it around my colleagues, but not around customers. Right. Well, That's customers. one. Yeah. That counts as one. There's your one. There's our one. There's your one. There's my one. Yeah. Everyone, everyone gets one. <laughs> Tell them, Peter. <laughs> so I mean, we I, we we should. It would be too much work. I was saying we should do one with a bleep button, but I don't think Steak has the time for that. No, no, <laughs> no, uh, no. <laughs> no. 
give me enough drinks, I'll make that real interesting for you. I was going to say, I should make a, I, I make a note of the time stamp <laughs> no, on that. Don't. Um, it's not that serious. She's heard me swear before. That's all right. <laughs> it was just once. Yeah. Um, and then don't forget, this is the last uh, week to get your PlayStation Plus November games. Uh, so PS4, Worms, Battlegrounds, Bound, and Until Dawn, Rush of Blood for the VR. PS3, R-Type Dimensions, and Ragdoll Kung Fu. And for the PlayStation Vita, uh, Dungeon Punks and Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. Yeah, the day this episode launches should be when they're showing Netflix. They should announce the December yeah. ones. Yep. Of course. As always. As it? fucking always. Is, There's your one. one. Oh, damn it! <laughs> How am oh, I the last on. one alive? I didn't even know. <laughs> If the floodgates Man, are open. We're, not even, we're not even into the news yet. The floodgates are open. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. This is like the Seinfeld contest. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even cheat like a stanza. It's and then your Xbox <laughs> case with gold for November. Um, for Xbox One, you can still download Trackmania Turbo until November 30th. Uh, Tales from the Borderlands is available now until December 15th. And then for Xbox 360, which is also playable on your Xbox One, Deadfall Adventures uh, until the 30th. And then... Because Microsoft likes us, we have the December games with gold games. Uh, for Xbox One, from December 1st through the 31st, you can download Warhammer, The End Times, uh, Vermintide. Uh, and then from December 16th through January 15th, <laughs> through January 15th, you can download Back to the Future, the game. That's the Telltale game. That was okay. I heard it was really good until like the last episode or two. The last episode like, just bleh. rips the, like, the entire... Story just to shreds, like of all the movies gotcha. and everything, like everything is just like, well, we're not coming back from this. That's it. In my head, it's like you play all the three gaming and like, oh, this is a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would, you ex- mother. <laughs> I, oh, no one's gonna play this. I'll, I'll ruin it. So at the end, because th- this, this, the spoiler game, alert. Spoiler alert. I'm just, more like just a eight year old game. Say. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm a game, just say, just on, on a game, game you don't want to waste. On a game older than Skyrim. And spoiler like, alert. Don't waste 12 hours on this game. There's, there's significantly <laughs> better things to do with it than 12 hours. Anyway, at the end of the game, do you, do you care? Do you going to play this care. thing? I get I know you don't care. I may or may not get to it. So I've fine. seen one of the movies. I so the, this, the game happens at the end of the movies, right? And this is canon for the story. At the, yeah. very, the very, very far end of the game, the very last thing that happens. You know, at the end of Back to the Future Part 1, when Doc comes back around, I was like, Marty, this thing happened. we got to yeah. go back. Yeah, yeah. That happens like 40 times with different do- with different Docs and Martys from like different time periods from all different times. Like the, okay. They've overlapped so many times with this time machine that they oh, just my. ripped it to shreds at this point. Okay. So like in their front lawn, there's like 12 Docs, 10 Martys, <laughs> and it's like <laughs> credits. Okay. And they're like, well... That's that because there is no way they're gonna unwind all that crap. So interesting. Save you twelve hours. Yeah, and then for uh, Xbox three hundred and sixty, which is also playable on your Xbox One, you can download Child of Eden from December first through the fifteenth, which is actually a really cool game. Um, definitely get to grab that. Um, I wonder if it still supports the Connect or not. Uh, no. If you have the Connect, because the <laughs> Xbox One doesn't support the Connect. <laughs> because the Connect, the Connect was really cool for that game though. Um, you can play, obviously, with regular controller, but the Kinect controls were actually really awesome. And then also from December 16th through the 31st, you can download Marlo Briggs and the Mask of Death. The who and the what and the where? So I was curious. Yeah, that's exactly what my expression was. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? That. Let me go look this up. First of all, it's got a 9 out of 10 out of, on Steam. It's oh, like a... Oh, that doesn't mean anything. No, no, but, it doesn't uh, at all. No. <laughs> but it's got... But it's basically a... The developers hack, have a good bot that puts a review. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hack and slash adventure game. Okay. And it just looks absolutely ridiculous. Like, we're talking like... Like, I'm almost thinking like Shadow Warrior, ridiculous story, really? and like that kind of stuff. I'm intrigued. That's kind of where the vibe I got off of it. Okay. So, potential... For free, there. I'll so I was like, for free, whatever. It it's four bucks on Steam. So, so <laughs> but it looks... Has it like been out forever? It's one of those I think things? it's been out for a little oh, while though. Yeah, because I mean it was on 360, which I never knew it was out even on 360. So <laughs> yeah, I've, I've I saw the cover of that and I was like, I've never even seen the cover. Like I'm, I usually like it's a very mm-hmm. rare occurrence where I don't I've never heard of it. Or maybe oh it's that one. Like, right. I've, I've well, walked by that a million times in Best Buy. That was Walmart. the same with that Deadfall Adventures that came out that I had never seen that either. So <laughs> they're getting some pickings, I guess. But that's everything. Extra, extra. It's time for the news. News. I'm really, really, really hoping to not talk about Star Wars Battlefront 2 again for the rest of the year after okay. this. I was saying, there should hopefully be only one more time we have to talk about it. That should be after the new year. 
Hopefully, maybe. with this with this news, yeah. <laughs> I hope. Maybe. So basically, uh, EA Dice, whoever it is, I don't know anymore. <laughs> uh, they announced that they are temporarily removing the microtransactions from Battlefront Two after all the public outcry. Um, and their statement read. We hear you loud and clear, so we're turning off all in-game purchases. We will now spend more time listening, adjusting, balancing, and tuning. This means the option to purchase crystals in the game is now offline, and all progression will be earned through gameplay. The ability to purchase crystals in-game will become available at a later date, only after we've made changes to the game. We'll share more details as we work through this. Um, so, I don't know. People are happy. Okay, so. Ch- person who's played the game, chime in. Yeah. So, like I said, I've played about... Four or five missions on the single player, and I played a, a pretty decent amount of the of the multiplayer. Um, I played it before this guest up turned off. I played you got it on Tuesday. They turned this off, I think, Thursday night. Yeah, yeah it's right before the main launch of the the main game. Yeah, I, I got the early access to it. Um, I I'm having trouble connecting the rage to the actual pay-to-win possibility of this game. So I am consistently probably in the top eight anytime I play a multiplayer, anywhere from one to eight, right? And yeah, sometimes when you you get killed by somebody, you can see what their loadout was and what they have. Very rarely do I see like... What star cards or whatever they have. Yeah, Yeah. so and the star cards are like the the modifications to your character while you're playing. And everyone has access to them (laughs) either through finishing in-game... Um, in-game missions, which is like kill 50 people with this gun or whatever it is. Um, or the Which is no different <clears throat> from any other online FPS. Right. right. They have the daily loot boxes. You can get daily stuff, which sometimes is just random. I get it. new boots. Right. Not, <laughs> not, <laughs> collectibles. Not, not even that. Like It's even dumber than that. Like Yoda now says something different. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, Your cape is red instead of blue. Right. And But the, I mean, they do got, you get cards and things like that. And you get um, the currency they do have in the game. You get the credits for playing the game. And they have, um, what the hell they call it, like parts or something like that. And you use parts to build cards. And so you can get cards in the boxes. You can build these cards. And it's all based on your preferences, right? So long story short, what I'm trying to get to is I really didn't feel that pay-to-win internet head exploded type of a thing happening. I can see how it can. I, I can see how could have could have been that way if it had more time to be that way. Because yeah. again, this all this all fell apart for EA before the main launch happened. So, right. I mean, I was I, I felt like I was dying significantly more in the first part. But those are also people who play play Battlefield One a ton and want to get in early. I just yeah. got early because I was well, like, well, it's like, in all reality, it cost me five more bucks to get it early. Sure. Well, there's yeah, the people who play Battlefield One a ton, or it may be people who. They got it early, and they sat at home and played it for 15 hours while you just jumped in. That's right. My, and that's kind of the point I was going to make, too, because I don't feel like when I get killed by somebody, I look at their loadout, and I'm like, man, that guy has played a lot of this game. Just no different than when I'm playing Call of Duty, and someone's on third level of prestige, and they have golden guns, and all this other stuff's happening. The difference between that and Battlefront is the percentage of the effect of the cards. So, like, each card has four different levels. You le- again, you level them up by crafting the new ones. Mm. Um, and you need to have... You have your normal rank, and then you have your card rank. Okay. You get up... You move up your card rank by either acquiring cards in boxes or crafting them. So some cards you can't even craft, or some levels of the cards you can't craft until you get to a certain level. So again, it's that, that, that loop of being like, all right, I need to get more credits to get loot boxes to get more cards to up my rank so I can get the card I really want and things like that. So that is the loop that you're getting into and that could get you into being like, no, just screw it. I'm going to put real money down and buy a loot box until I get enough credits or I get enough salvage gear, whatever they call that, to, to, to build the card I want. So when you you started playing Early Access, did you jump online like in that yeah. first three days? Okay. So... Looking at the loot boxes, do they have like different tiered loot boxes? Like, is there like a bronze level, a silver level, level, a gold level where like they the have, gold level gives you a higher chance of getting one of those they really top have level cards? Five different types of boxes. Okay. You got your daily one. Yep. Daily one can be, I get, sometimes I get two, sometimes I get five. No idea. It is totally roll the dice. And honestly, when I get the five, usually it's worse stuff. Usually I get like, I get a different costume for somebody, yeah. which I don't care well, yeah, about. They're, right, they're giving you five pennies instead of one quarter. Or right. Um, they have, the ones you get, you get specialized ones for finishing um, 
tasks in the game. Like again, I I killed I killed a hundred people as the heavy class, so I got a heavy crate, which gave me good things for my heavy character. Okay. Um. Well, presumably. Um. Actually, those are more like distinct. Like I actually get those for the right ones. Then they have um. Then they have the three different loot boxes that you can buy with the credits in the game at okay. any time. The three boxes are the trooper boxes, mm. which are there's four different types of troopers. Like there's the assault, there's heavy, there's specialist, and then there's officer. So you can get stuff for those four things. You get cards, you get you know winning poses and all kinds of madness. Emotes. Um, they call whatever. them emotes. I think they call them winning poses. Victory pose. <laughs> um, then they have emotes. the ones for the starfighter, which is the stuff that are specific for the um, fighter pilots and jets and things like that. But again, it's for the planes themselves if you're playing that mode. Mm-hmm. And then the last one is for the heroes because they got har- yeah, cards for the heroes too. So if you're picking up what I'm you know, laying down here, you got cards for the troopers. You got cards for the heavier versions like the special troopers. You get cards for their ships. You get cards for the heroes and villains. So there's a lot of cards that you can acquire and not a ton of ways to get them. But you can still build the ones and you can still... Um, I feel like when I'm ready to, when I feel like I'm ready to build a card, I have all the resources I need to build that card. Okay. So I'm not like, I don't feel like I'm really stuck in terms of just being, I got to grind this out, grind this out, grind this out any more than I would any other sure. multiplayer FPS. Um, what the hell's going to say? The, I mean, the, the, oh, the area of effects. So that's, that is where like the difference comes in, right? So like one of the cards is for grenades. Like my grenade is normal grenade blast but then i get a card for it that adds 10 percent. then i start building up on that card and goes all the way up to like 40 mm. percent uh, that's a pretty big jump in yeah. terms of, of of leveling and gameplay and things like that so if, if i'm throwing a, if i again if i'm throwing a grade in a large, larger mind you're doing bigger damage affecting the game more more possibly having the ability to win the game right so i think that is the only legitimate argument on the whole pay to win aspect of it. Cause I'm paying to get the better cards to have either a higher range of effects, a quicker cooldown sure. on my, on my bigger weapons or my bigger, um, uh, bigger special moves or, um, what as you're playing multiplayer, you get battle points. Those battle points is what you do to unlock ships or unlock, uh, heroes or villains as you're playing in that multiplayer map. They have a card there that multiplies how many battle points you get either five, 10, 20 up to 30%. So if I like do some of the objective, kill a few guys, I can be Darth Maul after like one one go if I have the highest level of that card, and he you know he wrecks half the team while you're doing that. So I don't think it's a pay to win model. I think it's a balancing issue, and it's hard when you have that many variables in it, and that big of a difference from the first level to the fourth level of those cards. That is where there's an imbalance. Um, but am I ever gonna? spend any more money in this game no right. am i selling having a lot of fun with the multiplayer yes i enjoy i'm enjoying the single player up to this point i don't feel like i'm being cheated when i die i feel like i'm standing in a field open right and then you know at is in the corner mowing me down <laughs> so like i feel like i understand why i die so i can't say it's like someone has like a egregious unfair advantage because they got an early paid for those boxes or whatever it may have been I just feel like they've played more, so they have more boxes, and they're already better anyway because I'm not that great at it, and they've played a bunch of it. Right. Um, I, I think part of the outrage is, well, two things. One, I think the way, so you say it's it's seem, it's kind of balanced now as far as those uh, power-up cards go. Yeah. I think in the beta they may not have been as balanced, and I think people were complaining about that before the final game came out and they could see how it was implemented. Yeah. The other thing, too, is we live in a culture where people love to be pissed off about stuff. Yeah. I mean, the, taking it to a 10 is easy online, you mm-hmm. know? So I think that's a, that's a huge part of it. Um, but here, okay, here's... Let's take a step back, okay? Let's look at Battlefront 2. I said it right. Battlefront 2. You're, you're nailing it here. <laughs> Well, I've been seeing a lot of the screen. Well, you've seen a lot of screen, and we've been talking about it for like <laughs> 17, yeah, months, right. 17 months straight. So. I should have it right by now. So, so now I'm trying to talk about Battlefield. I can't get that right. <laughs> got EA, right? Yep. Dice, yep. Big company, yep. Criterion, yep. Big company, yep. Motive, big company, yep. Those are three huge studios working in inside of a big publisher on an on a Disney product. 
that they've paid a huge licensing fee. They paid for. a huge licensing fee for announced that all the future DLC, both story mode and multiplayer, is all going to be free. Right. It's got to come from somewhere. Right. Yeah. And could they have done it differently? Like just saying, like, you know what? This is going to be the first game. It's eighty bucks. You get all this stuff. And it's going to be eighty bucks. They probably could have marketed it differently if that if that business model made sense. Yeah. But when you have that much money <laughs> flying at this game like it's gotta come from somewhere or it's just not gonna be made ever again and that's this is gonna be the last one which is still i i think this might be the last one because of all the blowback and sure if they can't if they can't they can't take away two of those big studios and have like a lesser product i think you have right. to have either a, 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 you would hope a better product if they go with a third one so how are they gonna have like a bigger better bigger better project with a bigger budget and not have the a fun a funding plan to go forward with it right well not only that but I, when this whole thing first popped up we talked about microtransactions in general and what was it activision blizzard reported like one and a half billion in <laughs> revenue off microtransactions last year yeah it, these companies are not going to walk away from that kind of money no right they probably should have figured out a better way to implement it <clears throat> i think everyone could say that now but it, it's one of those things that's microtransactions suck for most people but there's the 10% of gamers who pour a bunch of money into them and yeah, give these big companies their one and a half billion dollars in revenue every year and because of that they're here to stay whether we like it or not the needle's in the vein right it's, it's already there right and uh, again the, and even to circle this back to start to, to the battlefront I just feel like again the the, mes- the message just spiraled out of control and there was no way EA was going to fix it outside of doing what they did and just cutting out the transactions as a whole. Because even if, like, no, I said, they have four different levels of the card, right? Where four is like the most impactful one. You can't buy the fourth one. You can't get that in the loot box. Mm-hmm. You can only get that through in game progression by having, like, the most, having, like, basically maxing out all the, all the, all the, all the challenges for that class. So, mm-hmm. like, you really need to earn that to get sure. that. But I guess, like, you know, the cards along the way help you get there. Right. But still, like, you can't even have, like, the best stuff unless you earn it. So I don't think that that's, that's something you never hear about when, when they're talking about how, like, how awful this whole system is. Right. right. It's a bad progression system. I will give you that all day long. It does. Right. I, I don't. I, I just. It doesn't feel like any other progression system, <laughs> either for Battlefield or for Call of Duty or even, like, lesser titles I've played. Like, I don't feel like it's. It's not in line. Like I feel like you got to dig into the minutia of the cards and figure out the menus to figure out how to get better at the game from all the points and credits you get and things like that. But once you kind of figure that out, like you figured it out. With what you've played so far, how do you feel about the rate at which you earn points and how much it costs to unlock the, you know, big name characters? So I get anywhere from like 150 to 350 credits a game. Okay. So again, in the less like the, the heroes go anywhere from five thousand for like uh, Iden Versio, the character they created for this game, all the way up to fifteen now after they've edited it. So that is a decent amount of time if you only if you only look at the credits you get in multiplayer. Mm-hmm. But I get credits every time I finish a, 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 a chapter in single player. I get a, a decent amount of credits. I get credits for finishing the in-game challenges and daily challenges things like that i get credits in the loot boxes i get a daily yeah. I, everyone's like i feel like half the time i open up my daily loot box i get scrap metal and i get credits so there are a lot like there are but at some point that does dry up right so like i'm i'm doing well now because i'm going through the store and i'm getting like 300 500 400 every time i finish a level in the same right. plan that's going to end at some point um so i think and on that, I think that's also a valid argument. Once you get past that first round of that kind of stuff, like finding avenues for credits is tough. But at that, by that point, I think I probably would have already bought all those heroes. So the only thing I'm really using those things on anyway is just loot boxes. Right. One one of the interesting things I've heard about as the story reached this point here, where they just removed the microtransactions, was that like the uh, the breaking point was, and I, I've heard this happened. I've heard this isn't true at all. But like, Mister Disney called Mister EA and said, "You're screwing up the Star Wars name." Fix it. <laughs> Goofy kicked the door in. Like, yeah. <laughs> Goofy and uh, Donald showed up with a sack, uh, sack full of quarters. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. Um, I mean, it, that would it, it may or may not have happened, but it wouldn't surprise me because 
for m- over a month now, you've been hearing Star Wars mm. mentioned with this negative news. As opposed to this huge new and movie Star- coming and, out. And Star Wars yeah. has a movie coming out in, yeah. what, like four months? Two weeks. Two weeks. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm up my Star Wars. I know about the battleships and the death clouds. <laughs> And the Vaders. <laughs> the best all of all is Big Van Vader. All of them. <coughs> um, God, we're two weeks away. Oh, so, no. and so, okay, see, that's a ridiculous thing. Yes. Two weeks away for a Star Wars movie. I have not heard a peep about that movie yeah. with all this crap going on. Yeah, true. I mean, it's it's hurting the brand, and Disney will not allow that. Nope. No, they paid $4 billion yeah. for that brand. Yeah. $4 <clears throat> billion. Dollars. And you think they're going to let some video game company that they made a fraction of that back from screw that up? Right. Yeah. And that they spend a ton of it to make that game? Like, right. You know what I mean? Like, it's... It, is that, like... You know, Greg, Greg Miller always talks about, like, when art and business, like, collide. And this, <laughs> is, this, this is it, you know? Yeah. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that the guy who made the just gorgeous um, scenery and setting and sound... And like, there's just moments in the game you just like you just kind of take it in like oh my god this looks amazing. There's no way that person said we're gonna we're gonna screw these guys. <laughs> we're gonna no make way. bank. Right. Yeah, I was like yeah. there's no way. And and yeah. and that guy's not seen a dime of that either. I'm sure. Right. Yeah. Those oh, are yeah, the, right. those are the people who had to work the hundred hour weeks when right. it came down to crunch time when they had to meet their deadline. And yep. So they're sitting there and they just see something they poured their life into for a couple of years just get crapped on all over the place. And it has nothing to do with what they did. Right. It has nothing to do with all the time and effort they put into it. And, like, nobody's even appreciating what they did because they're all focused on this negative aspect yeah. of it. Yep. So it's, I guess, you know, the bottom line of this thing, it is a broken progression system. However, it is still a lot of fun. Um, graphically, sound-wise, all that stuff is on par with the old stuff. It feels great. I like the new locales. I like the new. I, I like the way the guns feel. Um, it's just has a little bit of ickiness about it right now. What do you? What do you? How do you feel about the uh, single player campaign so far? I've I've gotten to the, okay. So the main gripe I've been hearing about it is like I say, I've heard <clears throat> I've heard basically only people on complete opposite ends of the spectrum. Either yeah. it's a good game or it's not good at all. So it's like you're you start off as Iden Versio. You're you know you're on the special Shiva special. <laughs> You're on the special unit um, working for the Empire. And so you're like loyal to the Empire. They're the people, they're like the Navy SEALs of the Empire, or is the Inferno team. But they send you in to do like the crazy stuff. It's not knowing much about Star Wars. That's a different perspective than what you usually see. 100%. In, in the second or third act, like you look up. And a Death Star explodes, which is the <laughs> end of uh, Return of the Jedi. I'll say right. th- th- this game is supposed to take place between two of the movies, right? It takes over. It takes place over thirty years, so it's about the time of Return of the Jedi is when mm-hmm. it starts, and then I think it ends at the end, or like or about the current timeline of the movies right now. Okay, because I think there's like a twenty year gap between something like that. Yeah, I forget what they said. Minutes. How much? Yeah, I don't know. I enjoy the movies. Yeah, um, I don't know what you're talking about. There's but there's movies, <laughs> but. At one point, like they have you play as Luke Skywalker, and that's where I'm at right now. And I'm just like, I was digging the Iden Verso stuff, Versio stuff. I was digging a lot. It was certain, and it's kind of starting to get more interesting. And then they take the left turn of being like, you're going to be Luke Skywalker, and you're going to lightsaber some bugs. That's, <laughs> the, that's the last thing I want to do right now. And you lose your hand. <coughs> so, and I, I heard there's some other ones like does, that along the way. Does Luke have both his hands? Uh, he has gloves on. Mm. So he shouldn't in this timeline. Yeah. Because it, it is... Say so he shouldn't have both. And like it didn't... Like him being... Spoiler on, alert. <laughs> for a... Uh, what is this? 35 30. year old movie? A movie about as old as me. And like he was on this planet. And I'm like, why are you on this planet? And they're like, the force drew me here. So I'm here. Like okay. that's that's the extent of the story of why all he's right. on this planet. So like, all right, well, let's do this. Um, And again, the overarching thought is like they're gonna make you play as these heroes and all the heroes that you play as are the ones you have to buy in in this thing and i don't know know. but i I bought luke skywalker in the multiplayer game after two hours of playing the game nice and he's one of the highest price ones him and and vader are the two highest price ones and i'm not that good so (laughs) i i just don't i don't know man like i said I, i can see some of the points i can see how it can be I can understand the arguments behind it but i'm just not feeling that vibe in the game i'm not feeling yet 
Yeah, exactly. Because I'm still once I kind of get past. The I stuff, mean, yeah. Once you get past like the, all the early stuff and the points start to become harder to come by, then I'll. I mean, and I'd be done with the game by that point, right? Too. Yeah. I mean, so right. like honestly, like I don't know. Like for me personally, like you're, I, you're you're not a huge online multiplayer person, right? I'm enjoying my time now. Me and Vegas played for a couple hours late last night. We did okay. Um, we blamed our team. Um, <laughs> and th- th- that's okay. Last thing I'm talk about this. Playing with other people is just kind of pointless because you like you can't like spawn on your squad like you can do in Battlefield. You don't spawn with your squad like I like, mean when me and Vegas spawn together like happens at random. I, he's just like you, he's, you, you guys are on the opposite side of the planet. He's, a, yeah. he's like a green outline I can see across the map, <laughs> and, and, and then we communicate when we talk over the headset. And that's kind of the extent of being on a team. We are like in, in the big like forty everyone, versus forty type or everyone, twenty versus twenty. Everyone thing. else is fighting. He's stu- studying uh, intergalactic trade law. <laughs> so. <laughs> I guess again, again, to the bottom line, it. I'm enjoying my time with it. I can see how some people have do have some complaints with it, but my complaints are more with the actual game progression and some of the AI problems in the single player as well. Like I'm shooting people in the back of the head, and they're just no, no, just looking around. I'm like, oh, I should probably stop that lady. Well, I've already blew your head off, so it's too. Late. <laughs> you scuffed my helmet. Exactly. So I mean, a couple of things like that, but overall, I don't know. People giving it like a five, I think, is like. See, it's one of those... Out of line. I don't... I wish for game reviews now, when it has something where you have a single-player component and you have a multiplayer component, I wish they would do separate reviews. Because hmm. you could have... like. Granted, this is a bad example because most people play the Uncharted games with a single player, but if you played the single player on Uncharted and it was fantastic, yeah. and you jumped into the multiplayer for a little bit and it was completely broken, and then you drop that down to a six. Right. So, I mean, it doesn't, I don't think it gives you a full view of it. So, in our review scale, <laughs> wait for a sale. It's, I'm enjoying it. I got in early because I knew Vegas wanted to play. And I was like, ah, and I want to play too. And it's Star Wars. And I was kind of hyped up about it. So, um, but I would, I would fully recommend it on sale. Cool. All right. So, you want to talk about more broken progression systems? Let's do it. <laughs> so, uh, apparently, there's some <clears throat> issues with the Destiny 2 uh, XP system. People are claiming that it's rigged. Uh, Everyone's out to get us. Yes. I I stole some... uh, I basically just took quotes here from the Kotaku article. Uh, Basically, quote here is, Last weekend, Destiny 2 had its first quote-unquote Clarion Call event, which gave bonus XP to players and they are joined by at least one of their clanmates. In the wake of that event, some players noticed that the longer they played, the slower they'd progress, despite the fact they were repeating the same activities. The first time a player would earn 5,000 XP, they'd see a large chunk of their XP bar fill, the second, or, the second or third or 15th time they earned the same number of XP, the bar would, would fill a much smaller chunk. Hmm. Weird. Uh, and there, past that, there's a quote here from uh, someone who works on Destiny. Uh, Destiny Man 1. Yeah, D- Mr. <laughs> Mr. Destiny, which is a terrible movie. <laughs> Starring the bad Belushi. I thought, I'm completely unaware of that. <laughs> Bye for the butter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, So the quote here is, uh, we've seen community discussion around XP gain and destiny. After reviewing our data, we agree that the system is not performing the way we'd like it to. Today, we'd like to describe what is going on under the hood and talk to you about what we can expect going forward when it comes to earning XP in Destiny 2. Currently, XP will scale up when playing longer or fixed duration activities like Crucible competitive multiplayer matches and Leviathan Raid. And XP will scale down when playing activities that can be quickly, repeatedly chained, like grinding public events. We are not happy with the results, and we've heard the same from the community. Effective immediately, we are deactivating the system. As a result, players will see XP earn rates change for all activities across the board, but with all values being displayed consistently in the user interface. Over the course of the next week, we'll be watching and reviewing XP game data to ensure these changes meet our expectations as well as yours. Any additional updates to the system will be communicated to you via our official, via our official channels. So, on one hand... It's good that they're communicating this stuff and describing, you know, how the system was was working. Um, on the other hand, maybe they should have explained this ahead of time. So basically, when you play Destiny, there, there's like there's the raids, which is like a, a four to six hour process, right. and there's uh, the Crucible, which is the online, you know, PvP matches. But then when you're in the uh, PvE mode, you can go around and, like, random public events pop up. And you can, you know, it's like everyone in the area teams up to fight this horde of enemies or this one giant enemy or whatever it is. And the uh, the public events and just, like, the random tasks that you get in the uh, PvE world, 
you can run around and you can do those for hours and just find other random events pop, you know, uh, public events popping up. And uh, I understand what they were trying <clears throat> to do here. The raid, I, the raid, I think, just because of the duration that it takes and the teamwork it takes, you should get more XP for that. Um, PvP giving you more XP, eh. but I, I, to me, it makes sense to kind of neuter those quickly repeatable public events or you know public tasks they have you do because you can just keep doing them and doing them and okay. doing them and doing mm-hmm. them. Right. And if you keep doing them and you keep getting the same XP every time, it's going to basically allow you to cheat the system. Yeah, as far makes as sense. you know how to redeem stuff. Um, I think it's you know cool that they you know said hey we're shutting it off we're gonna review how it's going kind of how Battlefront did right um, kind of like I said I, I'm not really a big fan of the fact that they're like now saying oh now we'll be transparent with you when they weren't transparent like off the bat what a world <laughs> I am so glad I'm a single player guy <laughs> nah. I was say let's play some single player games Jesus I am so seriously like I am so glad I don't yeah, like, like I mean don't get me wrong like what, some what's... of the multiplayer I play you know is fun and stuff like you know like. Like, this year, like, this is the most multiplayer online stuff I've ever played cause, because it's Splatoon 2. Mm. Like, that was the most online play I ever played. And that's not really and, even, like... No, like, no, <laughs> not at all. But still, though, but, I mean, it was one of those things. It was just, like, this is... I've, I haven't played online, really, in years. And, and like, I'm just glad I'm not one of these people that do this, that do these things. I can't... I don't foresee myself ever being this person. Well, can you, like, imagine yourself, like, when... You get, there was Destiny players. That's, that's all they play. Oh, I know. I know. So, like, can you imagine, like, Maybe, being that they're guy? They're probably and, super like, pissed. Yeah, and it's, like, having, Absolutely. Like, Man, I can't even imagine that. I get, I understand where the where the anger and stuff comes from, but at the same time, I'm just like, God, I'm so glad I have to deal with it. <laughs> I'm so glad that it's not me. Like, yeah, wait until they uh, retune your Assassin's Creed uh, XP. Uh, no, it doesn't games. matter. That, that's, <laughs> that's single player. That's single player XP. That doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm already I'm already halfway to max level. So, yeah. I mean, how, really, how crazy? Like having two of those stories like back to back. It's it's like one didn't learn from the other, I, right? Man, I don't know. Well, well, I mean, Destiny was out before Battlefront. It was, and, and I'm wondering. I think they were just trying to get a like. It was probably just under the probably like all. It's probably like one of those things. Once one of this happens to one of these games, every other game starts getting put under the micro the magnifying glass and, and like, it. all right, let's see. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This doesn't seem right. Yeah, I feel well, like- the uh, their, their XP system. I'm wondering if it was is it is this a system that's been in place since launch. Or did they change something recently that put this into place? I would say they could have possibly done that to get ready for the, the DLC, DLC that's coming out. Right. So. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. It's like I'm just glad I don't. Glad I don't fucking play them, so it doesn't matter to me. All right, that's it. That's it. How? What time is it? Yeah, I feel like we've been talking a lot today. You've been talking a lot today. I have been talking a lot today. Hour seven in. Dang. You want to just get into my gift, or do we have a topic? Or no well, topic was to go over the very, some of the. Topics or some of the categories for the game awards. Let's we do, do that. I'm, Since I mean, we only, much. we only do game of the year, so yeah, might as well yeah. talk about some of the other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna look through here. I'm just, I'm gonna skip over ones that we have no interest in, like esports. Yeah. Trending gamer. I really don't. No. Only. Talk about. No. <laughs> all those are terrible. Uh, all right. So best independent game seems a. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. So the, the nominees they have are Pyre, Night in the Woods, Cuphead. What Remains of Edith Finch and Hellblade's Senua's Sacrifice. Ooh. I These are the so these are the Jeff Keighley Game Awards. Yes. Game yeah. Awards. This is like the big one. Yeah. This is like the one where they have all not only do they have all these you know awards, but they have all these new trailers. Oh yeah. Play yes. demos. I love watching like, this. It's such a, it's so much fun. You can tell they have so much fun with yeah. it too. And he's really hyping him up he's, on Twitter. He, oh he's my awesome. God. Jeff's awesome. Well I, I would I, love I, to meet the guy one day. He's yeah. awesome. So like okay, before we get into all this, I, I do have a problem with the way they're doing voting on the awards. I don't know if it's new this year or if they've the always done... all fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> the progression system's really messed up. But, so, on the website, like, you know, they, they list, like, hey, here's, you know, fans can vote on it, but here's our our jury. Here, here, here's the outlets we have voting on this stuff. And they have, like, your IGNs and your game spots, like, these, mm-hmm. these media outlets that do reporting. But then they also have, like, Kind of Funny and What's Good Games and Rooster Teeth and... I have a problem with that because, like, you will like all these people that just do like podcasts and stuff. You always hear them talk about like, oh, we're friends with such and such developer. Oh, and, oh right. You know, I'm friends with him. Sure. I, went, I went out to dinner with that guy. Sure. Uh, Andrea Renee from What's Good Games is married to someone who works at a video game company. Right. Right. Um, it's one of those things. Like, I don't like they tell you all these outlets are voting on this stuff, but they don't tell you like, hey, here's our 
list of rules. Like if you have a tie to a developer here, you have to you abstain from this category. Or, or I say you can't vote for this in this category then. So uh, I, yeah. I, I mean, that may be the case behind the scenes, but it, like right off the bat, that kind of strikes me as like, I don't, I don't like that. Like when you have like, like yeah, that's kind of weird. When you have media outlets, they have, you know, they're supposed to follow like the ju- whole journalistic integrity thing, yeah. which um, who knows all about that. Well, but Jeff, I, we have no connections to anybody, so <laughs> we'll be more than happy yeah. to, Give our vote. Yes, he, he, he has Nintendo stock. That's yeah. Really, you want me to not vote on Nintendo stuff? I mean, <laughs> have you heard me talk on this podcast? Yeah. <laughs> if I'm doing anything, I'm driving that value down. Yeah. So yeah, we're available, Jeff. <laughs> so uh, looking at that, guys, thoughts on that? I don't think it's got to be between Cuphead and Hellblade. I want to play all those games. Um, I, I I need to play I, a lot of them still, I, but I. I haven't played any of them. I I really liked Edith Finch. I really like Sinuous Sacrifice. I have yeah. not played Cuphead yet. That would be the one I think that would have a chance at it. I, I was so I was thinking about Cuphead like earlier in the day as I was driving and like Cuphead like pulled off something that I can't recall a video game pulling mm-hmm. off. It pulled off the crap where it was announced at E three like three years ago and it went through the like, hey, it's at E three, hey it's at E three the next year, and the next year it was just like in a clip and nobody talked about it. Right. And it came out and it wasn't a trash game. Yeah. Usually right. those games that go through that long of a oh, development cycle, awful. they always come out at the end and it's just yep. like, Ugh. Yeah. But man, I really... I was so disappointed not to that that wasn't on sale this past weekend. Mm. That was one of the games I was, I was looking, looking I, for. I, I that and I, and it was, it, I, I stopped because it wasn't. Hellblade is really good. And I've I, heard amazing... And I, I, I want to play that too. That was another so one. Good. I was hoping to be on sale this weekend. Yeah. I can't believe it wasn't. I was surprised. Um, but yeah, those are the two games out of that category that I could see winning even without playing any of them. Mm-hmm. And I would; those are the two I, I personally really want to play still. Um, so interesting category they've added this year is most anticipated game. Oh, nice! Like games that have been like trailers shown, but they're not out yet. Okay, so okay, they have, that's like, cool. They have Last of Us Part Two, Red Dead Redemption Two, Monster Hunter World, uh, Spider Man, and God of War. Ooh. So Good I mean, on Jeff for not I putting Death, Death Stranding. Stranding. I was <laughs> waiting for Death Stranding to be in there. Good on you, Jeff, for not putting that as one of the nominees because that would have been bullshit. Yeah, I, was, I would have been like, of course he's going to win. It doesn't matter what anyone else puts. He's going to give Ko- anything to get Kojima on stage. He's <laughs> going to do it. Man, I don't know. Let's go. Man, that, man. That's gonna, a good I'll category. Say, I'm, I'm not saying we need to have an opinion on these. I just, I just no, go no. Over that, that's games. a... Like, God, outside any, outside of, anyone outside, can win that outside category. Outside of Monster Hunter World... And maybe God of War. I want, I, to, I want to play the rest of those I games. I have zero interest in Monster Hunter as like right. a franchise. That Monster Hunter World looks... It's going to be awesome. So good. It's, it's going to be awesome. Is it just going awesome. to be Aloy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Aloy. Well, I'll, I'll be playing it on say, Xbox. I've, I've never been into comic books, and I'm, I'm waiting for Spider-Man to come out. So oh, God. I cannot wait for Spider-Man. No, I, I'm, I'm excited for all of those. <laughs> like I said, especially Monster... Oh, my God. Monster Hunter. That's going to be so much fun. Uh, okay, so here's here's a category I have an issue with uh, one of the nominees. Oh. Best multiplayer game. Oh, oh no! They have Fortnite, uh, Call of Duty World War Two, Splatoon Two, Mario Kart Eight Deluxe, Destiny wait, 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 Two, wait, wait. Mario Kart Eight Deluxe, mm. Destiny Two, and PUBG. Mario Kart should not be in here. No, I, it's just it's the same game that was on a, Wii U. It's, yeah. it's it's the same thing that should not be a part it's of. It's like it. a game of the year edition. Yeah. I don't think it has a chance of winning it. Either. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> I mean, PUBG is going to win that game. Are they in that category? Hands down, I think. I mean, just I mean, personally, Splatoon Two multiplayer is awesome. That is a ton of fun. Yeah. Anyone can jump in and play that game, which is like what I like about it. Yeah. It's like you could. It, there's not that an advantage yeah. of playing Splatoon Two. I mean, yeah, you unlock different guns and stuff, but I'm still using lower level guns. When people, I have a higher level guns unlocked. I like the gun yeah. I have though. PUBG like transcends. Oh, it's gonna be yeah. Oh, God. Oh, that's so, coming out. Oh, I think I missed that. I think that the, no, the, not it's that not the 12, frame. not in that time no. frame, right? Maybe the week after that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, sports racing game. Don't mm. no, Nothing interesting to say there. Uh, Forza. No. Strategy game. I have no, no opinion. Best family game. Oh. Which they describe as the best game appropriate for family play, irrespective of genre or platform. Please tell me there's something inappropriate in this category. No, there's not. Damn it. That would be awesome. I just thought it was party <laughs> pack four. A, I thought it was an interesting category. B, granted, I just started playing it, but what is the multiplayer of Super Mario Odyssey like? Anyone know? Mo- oh. Oh. Is, so, <laughs> you split the Joy-Cons. One person controls Mario. The other person controls Cappy. Yeah. It's kind of It's It's pointless. Pass. Uh, oh yeah, issue I have with Super Mario Odyssey. Them trying to shove motion controls down my throat from the start. Yeah, you, that's an Nintendo you thing. Use, right? not, that's not a Mario. And you usually Odyssey. don't need to do that. And if you did the pro, did you get the did you get the Pro controller? Of course I did. Pro controller is the way yep. to play that game. Mm, let's look through other categories here. 
In best fighting game, Nidhogg 2 got uh, a... Oh, wow. Nominees. Good. Nominees He's are good. Te- Tekken 7, Nidhogg 2, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, Injustice 2, ARMS. Uh, I think Injustice 2 is the Injustice 2 is going to win that one. Hands you down. disagree? I know how much you hate comics. Mm. <laughs> Batman 2. <too. clears throat> so, Damn turtles. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, best RPG. Oh, what do we got I'm, here? I'm kind of... I figured you'd be interested in this. Yeah. But I'm kind of... So, uh, <laughs> Persona 5, Nier Automata, uh, Divinity Original Sin 2, Final Fantasy 15, South Park the Fractured But Whole. Hey. Yeah, I mean, I guess. It's kind of a slap in the face to the rest of them, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I like the game, but it follows Sick of Truth's trend as like baby's first RPG. Mm. Right. No, I, I, I definitely agree with you on that. I mean, I can't see. It's got to be there. Actually, you know what? I think it might be that uh, Divinity. Divinity Original Sin. Yeah, everyone's yeah, been, obsessed with that game. Right. I, I, I have a feeling that one's going to win that category. Uh, best action adventure game? Uncharted Lost Legacy, Assassin's Creed Origins, uh, Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, Horizon Zero Dawn. That is Ooh. an awesome category. You know that's what's going to be like this whole... T- it's going to be Horizon versus Zelda... And like and versus like Assassin's Creed, like that's gonna be game of the like everywhere yeah. game of the year adventure game. Like it's gonna be the category. I'm very curious, and I've been feeling a lot of the play, a lot of the different uh, um, media. I think they're all gonna pick something different. I can I can see that. Zelda and Mario splitting votes, and then something coming up behind them. Yeah, and, and winning out. Uh, stake this one might interest you. Best uh, VR AR game. Ooh. Hmm. Super Hot VR, Star Trek Bridge, Q, Bid, Bridge Crew, <laughs> uh, Lone Echo slash Echo Arena, Farpoint, and Resident Evil Seven. That's gonna be interesting to see because I mean it would be nice if RE Seven does win that because then we that would help I think a lot more AAA aspects. Right. Um, but uh, but I've heard awesome things about Super Hot VR, which I would love to play that in VR. <laughs> That'd be I, crazy. I, I really, that game's I, awesome. I have super hot, and I, I need to find time to play that at some point. That game is. I don't so have time good. between now and the end of the year. Yeah, because we got things to do. I'm, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I need to get impressions to make relevant opinions. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, best handheld game is all Nintendo stuff because they're the only handheld platform at this point. Yeah, it's that's hand- surprising though, because I mean, there's been a couple of Vita releases this year that I like, like Dang Yeezy. And Ning Rappa, Yeast 8. I mean, those could have been totally been on there because Yeast 8 is on beta. It's like one of the most gorgeous looking Here's the uh, games. nominees for that one uh, Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World, Monster Hunter Stories, Metroid Samus Returns, Ever Oasis, Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadow of Valentia. Well, Ever Oasis sucks. I put that demo. That was terrible. <laughs> I think it's going to be between Metroid and I think Metro, uh, and uh, Monster Hunter Stories because that game's awesome. Uh, best mobile game we'll skip. Mobile games aren't really games. Oh, it's true though. So okay, here's another one I have an issue with. Got some, we got a lot of problems with you people. Hey, it, it's it's festive season. <laughs> uh, best ongoing oh, we gotta, game. Get with the poll. Yeah, I'll bring that next time. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you guys start, and I'll walk in like three minutes later. <laughs> and just drag it behind it. Awesome. I got to pull out of storage. <laughs> So the uh, best ongoing game is awarded to a game for outstanding development of ongoing content that evo- evolves the player experience over time. To so games of service. So they have Warframe, Rainbow Six yep. Siege, Overwatch, GTA Online, Destiny 2, and PUBG. I don't really think games that came out this year are ongoing. I mean, yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> I agree Plus, with is, that. Is PUBG ongoing when it hasn't even hit final release yet? Uh, yes, it's ongoing to release. Yeah, <laughs> it's on, it's ongoing beta. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's that's, it's different that's versions the, of that's the, beta. the sad part. When it comes out on Xbox One, it's still in early release. Yeah, right, it's still early access technically. Like this is ridiculous. Well, I think that I read some online today. They're pushing for the 1.0 release by the end of the year for PC. Okay. Um, how's that going to affect though? Because it are, isn't it crossplay? No, PC? I don't think so. No, it's not crossplay. I thought I, it was for some reason. Don't I, I don't. Initially, I don't think it is because a keyboard, okay. mouse versus controller. Okay. Yeah, that would be not good. That would be yeah. brutal. Yeah. Um, I, I, that's between GTA Online and Overwatch, I think. Yeah. Yeah. GTA Online is you know winning NPD and getting is, awards. Is a juggernaut. That's the <laughs> that's the one game I re, I, re, I re regret not getting this weekend. Mm. Overwatch when it was half off. Yeah. It was only thirty bucks this weekend. I should have grabbed I that. Like if, I feel like at that point, if I was just jumped in, it would just be like. 
Tyson fighting an infant. Like I just be just getting just destroyed. Possibly, but yeah, I don't know. I just I've I, I gotta find a way to still play that. At least try that game. Yeah. Let's see what else we got here. Is it raining? You're raining. It's just super windy. I was hearing all the leaves moving around oh, and stuff. Yeah, so right. I think that's what it is. I did hear leaves rustling earlier. Yeah, there's no uh, one out there. Best art direction: Destiny Two, Cuphead, Breath of the Wild, Persona Five, Horizon Zero Dawn. I, I think like, that's Cuphead. Inside. Cuphead, I was, I was, I was hands like, down. I was say Cuphead for sure, but Persona is. Like, well, Persona is pretty impressive. Persona is Cuphead really is so impressive, different. but Cuphead's so different from everything. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, so yeah, it's when's when's the last time you saw a game that looked like yeah, Cuphead? Yeah, 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 exactly. In the 1930s on cartoons. <laughs> uh, they have best narrative, which is like you know best storytelling. Hmm. What remains of Edith Finch, Near Automata, Hellblade, Wolfenstein Two, Horizon Zero Dawn. I agree with all those games I played. <laughs> I'll say Wolfenstein's great, and I'm just early into it. Heard great things about Hellblade enough to pay full price for it. Hellblade's I, so good. I need to sit my ass down and play through the New Order and Old Blood, mm. so I can get two because I just. Everything about two just sounding and you, looking awesome. Ju- if you just play through the new order, I think you'll have enough to jump into two. Okay. Because I think the old blood's a prequel to the new order. It is. Okay. In the twelve minutes I played of, <laughs> all right. I really one. need to sit down and just get battle through it. And not getting super into it because we'll have our own game of the year discussion. Their nominees are Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, PUBG, Persona Five, and Horizon Zero Dawn. That sounds about right. Nobody. Nobody has an issue with PUBG being up for Game of the Year? Yeah, kind of. I don't. But I, it's, it's so huge. Like, how can you not? Like, <laughs> so it's, it's I mean, the, that's the hard what, part I about think, that. I, here, I think it's going to be harder next year when the game's actually out. Well, it's not going to be nominated again. I'll yeah, say, you like, the, the, this it, is yeah. your shot. You're, you're putting it up now. It can't be Game of the Year two years in a row. Right. Mm-hmm. So, like, I think that is a more of a. Like, this is like. Gaming in 2017 yeah. has PUBG written. All over it. So I mean, you know what? That might be game of the year. I think is you gotta have it in there. I mean, but at the same I, time, that might be hurting it by putting it in these in that category now. See, I'm I'm not sure it does because I'm not. I, I feel like they've like they, they've kind of hit their peak. I mean, they're gonna get more players than they got on Xbox, but sure, it, it's. But you're the peak. But the peak was the most played game in right. Steam history. True. So like no, the, most no, concurrent players true. in Steam yeah. history. No, most, that's a good point. Most concurrent Twitch streams in in history. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that's just something that a lot of people are bickering about is whether or not it should be included. I mean, it's been. I get it though. It's, I it's get where that a, comes from. It's been a gaming phenomenon. Yeah. And you know, I don't get people who are like shooting it down, saying like, "Oh, okay, you could say the game's not. It's not final release. I get that. That's a fair criticism mm-hmm. of it being nominated, but." Some people are criticizing it, saying like, "Oh, it's not a game; it's just a game mode." Well, it, it is a game. I mean, Destiny Two is just a game mode. Then it's all game modes. But yeah. like, if I am playing a game that I bought, right? I think it should be able to be on that list. Like, if it was like early access beta and then comes out next year, <laughs> then no, absolutely not. It probably doesn't do that because I didn't pay for it yet, and it's not ten, it's not even remotely out yet. If I can go and buy. A thing, yeah. It's out, right? It's on the market, yeah. And so, so do you think by, by the fact that it's nominated this year, it can't be nominated next year? Correct. I, I, th- I think that, absolutely yes. correct. Yes, but I think that's part of the um, evolving conversation on this, though, too, because right. Rainbow Six Siege is a completely different game now than it was when it yeah. came out. Right? Yeah. So. Do we Which have I, a breakup on seasons? Do we have a breakup on like when they had like a big like two point oh patch, I three point oh patch, or not for game of the year? You can't be renominated, but for adding for the new seasons, I think you can be renominated in other categories. Well, so I, I think, I, I think okay. that ongoing game category. Yeah, is a good there's one. that one. That's a good one for that. Um, <laughs> even but even if if it's like you know like best multiplayer game of the year, like. Rainbow Six Season 2. Like, I would totally be okay with that because it's a new season of that game. Like, and it could completely change the game. Right. Like, it could be basically be a brand new game because yeah. of that. Like, so that would be okay. But the game of the year, no. You get one shot at that and that's it. That's it. But the other categories, I understand when it comes to, like, seasons and stuff like yeah, that. I can, I can see buy, that. I would buy that. I would be okay with that. But, the, but game, like, the ultimate game of the year, this is it for PUBG. Yeah. This is it. I think that's fair. If you're going to not include it in the conversation, that's the way it has to be. Yeah. 
right. So, 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 so we're all getting it right for Xbox. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And we're, we're, like, we're going to try Mixer for the first time. I guess. With that, I gotta did you do the split screen? You're going to have to walk <laughs> through Mixer because I, I like that tab. Is oh, I, I, I find I a YouTube a, video. <laughs> I've watched up on there. I have. I just have not actually streamed on there. <laughs> cool. But yeah, one of these days I, I'm going to, I'll stream an Xbox game on there. Okay, cool. So my gift to you was my gift to you. Your gift to me. Um, I gave, so this is a point in the show where one of us gives someone else a game, gives them a chance to play something new and review it for the first time ever. I gave you the indie gem down well so question for you yeah when you said you wanted me to get through the first three levels of that game how did you get to the third level oh that didn't happen oh i got the farthest i got was past like level two one okay it's, it's tough yeah it, <laughs> it's tough and it's uh yeah so it's a, a single gameplay session took me maybe three minutes yeah oh nice to get it you know through four stages um, so basically the, the premise of the game is you're this guy and you jump in a hole and you're falling down this endless well essentially and there's enemies along the way and there's little shops you can pull off to the, on the side and uh, buy stuff um, as you clear a let's call it a stage so like one 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 two those are each stages you get a uh, get to choose from one of three or four power ups at the end depending on you can choose from four if you chose another power up previously that gives you an extra. Yeah, you go once you get a little bit further in the game, you get to go into the world with a power up or more life or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, um, oh, it, it's interesting. It's not something I could see myself sitting down and playing for, you know, even like maybe more than thirty minutes at a time. But it's one of those games where you can fire it up and you can throw ten minutes into it, and you'll have play, you'll have gone through three or four playthroughs in that time. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely a nice little time killer. Uh, I played on the PS4 on my TV. Uh, I didn't feel like charging the Vita and downloading sure. it. And, <laughs> and, um, but yeah, it was. It, it's a great little time killer. I mean, it's it, there's not much to the game. Um, you know, you're falling down this hill and you have gun boots and you can sometimes you have to shoot blocks out from underneath you to keep falling. Um, as, as there's enemies, there's certain ones that you can like jump on as you're going down and you can. Uh, you can like basically build a combo of enemies you've jumped on. I think the highest combo I got was like twelve. That's pretty good. I, I, I'm like, this is awesome. I'm flying <laughs> through this, and then I think I immediately hit something after uh, the trophy pop for getting ten in a row or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, when you use the gun boots, you can break through blocks. You can shoot some enemies. Um, there are some enemies that you're not allowed to jump on, so you have to use the gun boots to eliminate those or just avoid them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it's. An interesting little game that you can, you know, like I said, I don't think I could see myself playing it for more than like a half hour just because it is the same thing over and over. Um, but if I was like playing it and maybe progressing a little bit each time, you know, getting a little bit more and a little bit more, then maybe I could see myself, you know, sticking with it for longer than that if I was. But I had, you know, I jump in there, I'd have a round where I died before I cleared the first stage. Yeah. And I've had ones, have ones where I go through like the first two stages untouched and, you know, to get, the, get into the second level. And that's just. Anarchy because there's floors everywhere. There's floors, but sometimes they have spikes. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, man. It's, everything is trying to kill you. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's like life. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like life as a toddler. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, I think the toddlers trying to kill themselves, but yeah, I think I think that what moved me in that game was like getting getting like the the the, the first. I forget what they call them, but like the first trait, like when you jumped in, and getting the different. Um, skins for like the screen itself because you can get one it was like game boy oh yeah the palette the color the palette, palettes yeah, yeah. Palette. so you can go in those like game boy you can get cool one like virtual boy oh, very cool and very like, cool it's just like game boy you get like virtual that. boy you get and there's other ones that are just like colors like, like an aqua yeah. one yeah which oh, that's, into, like, teal. that's really cool <laughs> so i mean yeah there's this it, that's pretty much as deep as you need to go in that game honestly yeah i mean there, there's there's not much to it um I'm curious as to what the third world looks like now because I just, just picture it in my nightmares. <laughs> they, they go up to eight. There's eight worlds in that game, and I YouTube it. it I, I don't <laughs> forget that, dude. I don't know how in the world any clone could ever beat that game. Yeah, it's it's. Well, it's, I think like the first I heard of that game was uh, Colin Moriarty was playing it, it and he right. said he'd like only get like one or two stages in, and then you die and you jump back in, and you're just back at it again, and. It's a challenge to get through, like, the first 
whatever world. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an interesting loop because it's like you know the you know the punch in the face of the dif- difficulty. But when you do like progress and like that tension of like I want to get hit because I'm going to get further. I'm, I've never been this far. Right, or, you know, right. And I think that's where the juice comes from in that game. Um, yeah. And uh, I was looking at some of the trophies for that. No way. <laughs> there, there, <laughs> there, are, there are so many, tro- like so many of the trophies that have like point one percent completion. Oh my god! That's but there's crazy. one like do a hundred hit combo. How? <laughs> Who would ever do that? I hit twelve and I thought I was the king of the world. <laughs> YouTube it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, oh, I'm it sure. Is, it's it is ridiculous. A, yeah, it is an impressive watch to watch people do that game well. It's it's a thing, especially when you understand how difficult that game is. Right. So yeah, that's that's down well. Cool. All right. It's, nice. Now it's Art's turn. So I get to give Steak a gift. Yes. Steak, I'm gonna help you fill your holes. Oh, it's... my holes. Fill your holes. Oh, yes. That's nice. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna help you fill your holes in your gaming experience for the year to help you with game of the year considerations. He's in oh, the pocket. All right. Ooh. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. And you're gonna play Horizon. Okay. Um, two things. Okay. Looks gorgeous on a 4K HDR. Oh my god! I can't make. That's honestly, that's like the my. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Number two. Uh, when you first pop that game in, expect to not be able to play it for like 45 minutes Duh. Right, for install. Patch. Yeah, patches, and yep. the install itself takes that long. Okay, that's uh, fine. And they just patched it again with the Frozen Wild stuff. Like, uh, I think you okay, even need okay. to patch even if you don't have the Frozen Wild okay. stuff. Yeah. That's fine. No, that's fine. I'll, um, so I just re- I'll pop it in tonight. And I just reinstalled that mine the other day because I wanted to get it back in my system to play it again. Yeah. And uh, it was like, yeah, I popped it in. It downloaded the, the patch, which was fine. The patch wasn't that bad. But then it started doing the disk install, and that was like a half hour. That's so, surprising because a lot of the most of the PS4 games install really fast. So you have, the, you have like fast. a handful of games that yeah. don't though, because like an <laughs> Xbox, everything takes forever to install on Xbox. I'm so excited for you. Awesome! No, this is this is great. <laughs> I was there, like, you know, I, I just, was listening to all your Black Friday stuff. I'm like, don't say you bought Horizon. Yeah, <laughs> because if you bought Horizon and you start playing it, I don't know what I was going to do. How far do you think you should get? I, I mean, it's it's a 40 hour game. I don't expect you to be. <laughs> I mean, no, yeah. this is awesome. Pass no, like the, I'm at the trials or whatever. Yes, I think more so. I'm really excited just to get through the to see the 4K HDR in this. I play, play, it, wait. play at least until you get past the trials. The trials, okay. Yeah. Which is very early game. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited. Cool. Man, I think very I, cool. I've been eyeballing. No, this is awesome. That tab on my PlayStation Four every time I boot it up. Like, do I want to jump into Frozen Wilds? Like, no, I got <laughs> things to do. <laughs> Have Imperials no, this to is kill. Great, you know, I've been needing something to kind of take a break from Assassin's Creed every once in a while. Oh, there you go. So this is perfect. Because, like, I I'm, I mean, I'm hey, loving Assassin's, but you, you need to take all a break the side quests. You need to take a break from your 60-hour game? Here, play this 40-hour <laughs> yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, exactly, yeah. No, cool. Awesome. Well, now I'll know if it's worth picking up the complete edition. It is. For myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. All right. All right. Where well, can people find us online? The gun show. The gun show. Thanks for picking up the sticks. <laughs> uh, people can find us on Facebook, iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play by searching the Sticks Podcast. Find us on Twitter at Sticks Podcast. Find us on YouTube at Sticks Gaming, YouTube.com slash Sticks Gaming Vids. Uh, find us on Twitch uh, usually every week on Tuesdays. Not so much last week. Oops. <laughs> Holiday. It was we, a holiday week. That's why we, for, we missed. We, yeah, it was, it was planned. <laughs> we didn't all totally forget about it. Our, our, our two regulars were very upset. <laughs> so, send you guys a text on Wednesday afternoon. Did anyone stream last night? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we, had um, group, we had a group one coming yesterday. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> yes. Uh, Should be a good one. Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash the sticks podcast. Steak. Final words. Two quick things. One, we didn't mention when the game awards are. Oh, yeah. It's not important. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fifth, sixth. Because, because, no, I'm curious because I don't know. So, <laughs> December seventh. December seventh. All right, December seventh. It's a Thursday. Well, if you don't care about the awards, watch it for the trailers. They'll yeah. release. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and then again, like normal, no, he will never watch or see or hear this. But welcome back to the gaming world, Colin Moriarty. Oh yeah. yeah. He's had two episodes of his side quests so far. Uh, it's great to hear him talk about games again and to it's, see him talking. It's basically Colin was right. 
Yeah, exactly. It's the same thing as Collins, right? Um, but I have a feeling it's going to venture. Like this is his. It's going to evolve. Yeah, it's going to evolve into more of, than just this. Because like I think this is his just his beginning of like, all right, this is what I was. This is what I wanted to do when I started with kind of, like this year with kind of funny mm. that got cut short. So I'm continuing that. But I think he's going to get a little bit more in depth with some games because he's been tweeting a lot more. Like especially like yeah. as you can see, he he really enjoyed Wolfenstein too, um, which doesn't surprise me one bit with the history background and everything. But um, but. Uh, but it's great to see him back in the in the gaming world, and I've watched and I've watched both of his to the completion. I can't say the last time I watched a kind of funny thing to completion mm. since he left. So it's been a long time since I have. I don't really watch their stuff. I, I really saying. don't. I skim it like like the games daily. If I see they're going to talk about something, I'll skim to that part and then just get rid of it after the like couple minutes they talk, nice. which is unfortunate. All right. Well, welcome yeah. back. <laughs> see you next time, stickheads. 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 See you next time, stickheads.